Mountain Cruiser Bag. A small flash bag with a camera. I pride myself in my defense, and defense creates offense. I have always believed that. My mom always tells me that. She's like, okay, work on your defense, and the offense will come. Here comes Joyner in transition. She's going to take it herself. High off the glass. Are you kidding me? It found its way to pull through. And one more Joyner. I've been that gritty, tough, hardworking, like the other team's going to be mad if they see me on the court type of player. And I will always say true to that. Saginaw is a really special place, and it's kind of part of the reason why I'm at Michigan State is just because of some of the people that I either grew up with or looked up to. Those people being like Jason Richardson, who played here. His daughter played on my travel team and my high school team. And then there's Tori Jankowska, who I knew since I was little and would follow her around. There is such a great connection between that area at Michigan State. Mo was coming up, she got to see Tori play, and I think she kind of grew up watching her. And then you, know, you can go back to really great days at Saginaw High, too, on the women's side with Kaya Jones, Annette Babers. I mean, there's just a really strong connection to their success in Saginaw girls basketball. I think she really learned how to be tough growing up in the gym. There were nights where she would go to like three practices in a night. She'd be on the sidelines eating her Subway sandwich and trying to do her homework and then hurry up and try to jump in the next drill. When she would go to those practices, my husband always made the do sprints at the end. And the challenge was if Mo beats you, you're going to run extra sprints. And Mo took that to heart. And, you know, Mo would always be, you know, two, three of the boys. She really had to show that she wanted to compete from a really young age and took pride in being able to compete. I decided to come to MSU because I grew up here. Ever since I was little, I would come to tournaments here. I would come to the state championship tournaments. I would come to travel tournaments, not just for me, but like my siblings. And I just grew up loving the atmosphere here and loving the players that came here. One of my goals was to play here for a state championship one day. I won two state championships. Ironically enough, the two years I won, they moved it to Calvin College. So I never got to actually play in Breslin, but then I ended up coming here. So I got to play here, obviously, for four years. My sophomore year, we went to the NCAA tournament in San Antonio. And at the end of the first game against Iowa State, I took a charge and hit my head, fell back, and it was pretty much wrapped <laughs> from then. And Iowa State will go to the line, and Mo Joyner is hurt. Tough, tough defense inside. Jones got it to go, and Joyner hit her head as she fell down. She landed on her back, her head whipped back down on the ground, and she is in pain underneath the Iowa State basket. Imagine your brain, like, literally being on fire. I'd be so emotional, like, I couldn't stop crying. I would be really out of it. It would just be really frustrating to, like, know that it's happening, but I can't do anything. Having an injury like a concussion is hard mentally. And I say that because with a concussion, I had to learn to really take it seriously. I couldn't just walk it off. That was just always the toughest part for me is because I really had no control over it. And I probably pushed myself too hard sometimes and I really had to learn to be patient and like know that everything happens for a reason. This last year was a real challenge for her mentally and emotionally. When you're an athlete, your whole world revolves around your sport. And when you can't do it, it's like you lose a piece of yourself. You lose some of your identity a little bit. And so that was a real struggle. And then just not knowing what the outcome was going to be. Was she going to be well enough to play or not? With a concussion, you don't know what's going to happen. And it just takes time. And she was patient, but she worked her butt off to come back. She went above and beyond to try to get things together and be able to play her senior year. She wanted to wear that uniform and just represent MSU. It's always been my mindset to never quit. That's really all to do with like how I grew up. My mom and dad would never let me quit anything. I knew I wasn't done yet. Like I hadn't had a full year where I was like completely healthy. I know I have a lot to like offer and I want to help the team. I wasn't gonna let that be my last year. Joiner trying to get things started right away off the bench with a floater off the middle of the glass and through. Shramick, top of the key. Looking for Post Pichalova, but Joiner gets the off 
and steal, and the Spartans bring it the other way. I know it's her senior season, and you always step up in those senior years, it feels like, but what a time it is for Mo Joyner. Yeah, you know, it's like you're kind of at that point in your career, you've got nothing to lose. You know, you give it everything you have every single game. You have to come in confident. You have no other choice but to do so. Down the floor, it's Mo Joyner's turn for a triple. She swishes it right here. A big time shot by Mo. When I look at Mo, I tell her this all the time. I think she's our most valuable player because of her ability to play one through four positions. I mean, I've played her at the point and I've started her at the four. She's really not either one of those, but she's willing to do whatever it takes. I think her ability just to give every ounce of energy that she has to every possession is really something that I admire about her. I think her teammates admire about her and she plays the game the right way. There's just been like times this season where I just feel myself I have a great game and a year ago like this was not even a possibility. Four months ago it might not have even been a possibility for me to be on the court and doing what I'm doing. It's been a, a huge relief to know that she can actually play and, and live out her dream. This has been her dream since she was a little girl. But you know, the thing that I'm most proud about Mo is the fact that she's really become a good teammate. From day one, my best moments were watching her celebrate for her teammates. When she gets off the bench and she's jumping up and down, or she's giving somebody a high five or running on the court for a hug. There's so much more to basketball than basketball. And I'm just really proud of the player she's become, the teammate she's become, and the person that she's become. I've always been a tough player, but just the challenges that I've had to face here has been really rewarding for like myself personally. The other thing I'm proud of is just really appreciating where I came from and sticking true to how I was raised and my family roots. Whenever I, I think about Mo, you know, even in the recruiting process, I was really there to watch someone else, and I just kept watching this kid, and I'm like, she's a winner. She just has got that toughness, that grit, and whatever her team needed, she seemed to do. She's strong, she's athletic. Mo kind of exemplifies everything that's right about Saginaw. Being from Saginaw, I don't know how to describe it, but like it's a pride. Like you just know if you're from Saginaw. We're just hard workers. If you think about any players that have come here that are from Saginaw, they're just gritty, hardworking, gonna get it done players. That's just the type of player I am, and I wanna be like remembered to be that type of leader.